clean our brush. Two avocados. What's it closer to? It's closer to zero or is it closer to 10? Yeah, it's closer to zero. Look at that. <laughs> Avocado. If the number you're looking at ends in five or bigger than five, you need to round up. Otherwise, round down. Three. What is it closer to? Zero or 10? Well, one, two, three. Oh yeah, that's closer to zero. Haha. <laughs> so we can round three down to zero. Rounding? Hmm. What about six? Is it closer to zero or is it closer to 10? Yeah, it's closer to 10. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. So we would say that six is not only closer to 10, but we can round six up to 10. Rounding. The rule is if the next digit to the right ends in five, six, seven, eight, or nine, you round up. Otherwise, you round down for zero, one, two, three, or four. Eight. This fits into the category of five, six, seven, eight, or nine. So you are going to round this up to 10. Ha ha. 25. The digit to the right here is five. And that's the rule. If it ends in five, six, seven, eight, or nine, you round up. So instead of 25, you are now looking at good old 30. Not 20. 30. 14. Do we round up or do we round down? Well, you look to the digit to the right. It ends in one, two, three, or four. So we're going to round down to 10. Rounding, it's used in a wide variety of topics like budgeting, population statistics, the weight of cheeseburgers, pretty much anything that uses numbers. So don't subscribe lest you learn this lifelong skill. Do join the Greater Gators class, which is definitely linked below. See you next time. God bless. Mash, hey, this is a trick question. Five. There's nothing else here, it's just five. So do we round down? to zero or do we round up to 10? Do we round five down to zero or do we round five up whoop, to 10? Ends in five, so we round up to 10. Five rounds up to 10, not zero. <laughs> round up to 10. 72, do we round to 80 or 70 if we want to round to the nearest 10? Look to the digit to the right. Is it five, six, seven, eight, or nine? You're gonna round down to 70. Whoop! So 70 is the nearest 10 that we round 72 down to. The granddaddy of today's numbers, 50. <laughs> If we're gonna round that to the nearest hundred, what do we do? Do we round to zero or 100? Hmm, five, six, seven, eight, nine, you're a round up. So, although 50 splits the difference between zero and 100 evenly, five, so you round 50 to the nearest hundred, i.e. 100. Welcome to the bonus section. We're gonna round 38 to the nearest 10. Look at the last digit here. That's it.